A day in the history books for Green Bay as the Walnut Street Bridge in downtown is now named after a Packers legend. Oh, beautiful. The bridge has officially been renamed the Bart Starr Memorial Bridge in honor of the late quarterback. This morning, the Green Bay community came out for a dedication ceremony where they unveiled the plaque that will go on the bridge. Bart's widow, Cherry, was also gifted the key of the city by Mayor Eric Genrick. I'm glad I was able to live through this, to get here today and enjoy this. I'm sorry Bart couldn't be here to do it, but he would be so proud. Among those in attendance was Packers president and CEO Mark Murphy, the Starr family, along with other state and city representatives. Governor Tony Evers was also there. He signed the bill to make this happen back in July. And while it's been more than two years since the legendary Packer has died, Bart Starr continues to impact the Green Bay community all these years later. NBC 26's Valerie Juarez reports. Bart Starr was a man people loved on and off the field. The former quarterback spent 16 seasons with the Packers, winning five NFL championships and the first two Super Bowls. No secret why the Green Bay and football community loved him. He was such a beloved, probably the most beloved figure in Packers history. You know, not only for what he accomplished, but for what he stood for. And, you know, what really stands out for me about Bart was how humble he was. And, you know, you think about the success he had, it was never about him. It was always about what's the best for the team. Starr is remembered for being the only quarterback in history to lead a team to three consecutive NFL championships, being named the NFL MVP in 1966. He later became the team's head coach, serving in the role from 1975 to 1983. And after much anticipation, awaiting legislative action, fans are finally able to come out and take part in history being made. It's um, beyond amazing. Uh, it's, um, it's, you know, it's worth its weight in gold. Bard's widow, Cherry, forever grateful for all the support she and her husband received throughout the years. It just warms my heart every time I come back to Green Bay to how blessed we were to spend our career here. We will have lived here for a lifetime had it been possible because we came to love this community so much. And on this beautiful Saturday morning, Cherry was confident her late husband was looking down on them to take part of the special tribute to. The love he had for the Packers, you fans, and this community, and this entire state. If Bart were here today for this beautiful tribute, he would thank you all for your support. In Green Bay, Valerie Juarez, NBC 26. Starting tomorrow, 